the wd black sn850 nvme drive this is the ssd that i picked is one terabyte and here is the heatsink that i got from amazon i will leave the links down below here we have the paperwork and uh in this you know heatsink we have the pads the thermal pads which are in blue there the black heatsink screwdriver and screws for us to install it and secure the ssd in the enclosure I take off one of the face plates here for the PS5. This is the one where it'll allow us to open up the bay to put the SSD in on the PlayStation 5. So I point out the screw there. So I'm unscrewing that right there. It's fairly simple. It does not take that long to uh, you know, set this up. It took me longer because I had to secure the SSD in the enclosure. And uh, you know, that was the main thing in the little expansion uh heatsink slot or whatever so that's what took me the longest to figure out here we have a look at the bay for the ssd that's the um area there where it'll go into and then here is the ssd i'm taking it out of the package here don't mind my eye when i look at the camera i was trying to make sure the uh contents of the video were in the frame so that's why i keep looking over at the camera so i'm trying to move stuff around here and that SSD is fairly small. I mean, these things are getting smaller and smaller and it's crazy how this, you know, they can go up to like four terabytes and stuff. It's pretty crazy. Here are the contents of the heatsink. Here's a little uh, instruction booklet, like a little manual it came with. It shows you how to arrange it and how to put the thermal pads and what orientation it should go. It's fairly simple. It's not difficult at all. So. You know, just follow that and you should be able to be fine. Again, this took me not that long. I just wanted to make sure everything was right. Plus, I was recording. Here is the heat sink. And um, it has a little enclosure there and the heat sink itself. Here are the blue thermal pads. And I'm just showing you what's coming in here. And uh, I'm trying to take out the little screws and the screwdriver. That one, you know, that took me a little while to get that one out, but I got the little screwdriver. It's nice they provide that. And then to my surprise here, I took out that cover and then there was another thermal pad. So I guess if you make a mistake or something, you have a, an additional one there in the package from Amazon. So that's pretty cool. And um, I didn't want to do this at first, but you know, I'm like, you know what? It's cheaper than buying one that comes with a uh, heatsink already. So this way it was cheaper for me to buy the ssd separately here i'm putting the thermal pad on the ssd and i think i i actually think I, I go the other route and i put the thermal pad inside of the enclosure if you look at the picture here at the screen you see two black things there one of the black things on the left is the heatsink and on the right is a little enclosure that i just picked up now and then I decided to put the heat sink in there. It was easier for me to do it this way. I was just trying to measure it and trying to be precise and be perfect, you know, so I don't make any mistakes. But um, I just lined it up and it was fairly easy. So I, I put it in there and then I peeled off the other film so that I can stick the SSD on top of it. So that's, that's what I'm doing here. I'm taking a look around, just making sure I line up the two little semicircles at the other end. Well, here I'm showing you the how it looks with one of the thermal pads in. But there is a little semicircle on the SSD and a semicircle on the enclosure for the heatsink. Make sure they line up because that's where you're going to put the riser and that's where you're going to put the little screw when you install it into your PlayStation 5. All right, so I peeled off that film and I'm putting the SSD on top of the thermal pad here so I'm installing that here I'm taking my time just trying to make sure it's lined up and everything is correct you know you may want to do this too just make sure everything is nice and and you know lined up and clean everything is good but this is a fairly easy process so it should not take too long and it's not difficult at all I mean if I can do it you can do it all right I get the other thermal pad that goes on top of the SSD before we place a heat sink on top of this so Make sure you put a thermal pad under the SSD, one above it like I'm doing here, and then finally the heat sink on top of that. 
all right so that's securely placed there now i get the ssd and i put it in the I'm trying to give you guys a little look here and i put it on top of that pad that i just installed I'm trying to line everything up make sure the semicircles are lined up and there's little notches here that you know allow you to secure that heat sink inside of that enclosure so There you have it. Now there are spots here for six screws. I'll show you in a second where they are. I'm just giving you an overall look here. All right, everything is nice and secure. Now I'm gonna point out the screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so those are the screws that, you know, they come with the package here. So take them out of there and secure the SSD to the heatsink enclosure there. So that's what that's for. This is my final screw. So I'll show you again here the final product before it goes into the PlayStation 5. There you have it. And there is the SSD with the heatsink. At the time of this video, that heatsink was like $16, I believe, on Amazon. Here I'm taking off the screw uh, that holds the little riser in place. Now, if you see here, it's at 110, but we want it at the 80 because this particular drive, it's at the 80 mark. So make sure whatever size, here's the riser, whatever size SSD you buy, make sure it's the correct size. So you put it right there on the 80, that little riser right there. And that basically is a little spacer to have some space between that board and the SSD. So then here I'm installing the SSD into the PlayStation 5. Then I get the screw that I removed earlier to get that riser out. I'm getting the screw here again. And then I'm securing the SSD to the PlayStation 5 here fairly simple guys this is very easy it's not difficult at all if i can do it like i said you can do it it's very very simple you know just read the little instructions watch that little video here is the ssd inside of the ps5 with my heat sink that i got from amazon here's a final enclosure cap that goes back on the playstation 5 putting that back in there Screw it in place, and you're almost done. All we have to do after this is put the little face plate back on the PlayStation 5, and we should be good to go. Yep, thumbs up, put that there. Secure it, hear it click, and your PlayStation 5 has a new hard drive. So what do you think about that guys is not very difficult at all to install your own SSD inside of a, a PlayStation 5 especially you know going ahead and installing your heatsink it's not difficult at all it's literally two pads the SSD and a couple of screws and you're good to go that was very very easy and you save a few bucks because you know this was 180 bucks and then if you buy the SSD that has the heatsink it's a lot more money so and by the way, they're sold out right now anyway, so I got this right now. I wanted to make sure I got some room in my PlayStation 5 to play some of the newest games and have some installed in there. I installed Battlefield 4 on my SSD, so that should be see a, you know, a little bit of an increase when it comes to speed, you know, load times and stuff like that, so that was cool. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for stopping by. I'll catch you guys later on the next video. Peace out.